The most popular and best-selling vehicle nowadays is the plug-in hybrid vehicles, like Lexus NX 450H+. This type of vehicle combines electric vehicles and a hybrid vehicle into one. Although the cruising range is only about 50 to 70 kilometers, but for most people, it's sufficient to meet the daily needs. Take myself as an example. I send my daughter to school twice a day, about 40 kilometers back and forth. But the traffic is terrible. It cost me two hours just for the wrong trip. Normally, I would need gas once a week on my previous NX350. But with NX350 hybrid version, for the same trip, I only need to gas once every two weeks. Since I switched to plug-in hybrid, I only gas once over last three months. So from gas once a week on the regular model to hybrid vehicle, gas once every two weeks, to now the plug-in hybrid only once per three months, it's a huge change on the fuel consumption. Actually, there are four different driving modes to choose on the Lexus plug-in hybrid. The first is the EV mode. EV means electric vehicle mode. It's also the default mode. System will choose this mode as long as the battery is fully charged. Second is Auto EV HV mode. Once you press this button, the screen will show Auto EV HV. The system will automatically switch between electric and hybrid mode, depends on the driving speed and acceleration. At this mode, acceleration will be prioritized. The third is HV mode, which is classic hybrid mode. The system will only running on hybrid mode, keeping battery for the future use. Imagine you drive from city A to city B, which contains few hours of long distance driving. So you could choose HV mode on highway first, then switch to EV mode when you reach traffic close to the destination. The last one is the charging mode, charging with regenerative braking technology. For example, if you use the EV mode while driving uphill, and you can use charging mode when driving downhill. The regenerative braking charging could get back pretty much the same energy you spent when you're driving uphill. In fact, almost every brand is launching their new plug-in hybrid vehicles. At the Lexus, the new RX 450H Plus plug-in hybrid version will be launched the next year. And the new 7-seater TX will also launch a plug-in hybrid version. And most of these models are still eligible for the government driving green subsidies. The only disadvantages on this type of vehicle is the waiting time. So better reserve your next plug-in hybrid as soon as possible. That's all for today. Thanks for watching. I'm Richard Chen. See you next time.